Rightfully so, because here comes rain. Nail Stewie, long way to retreat down catwalk. No one swung from top middle. I thought he might have gotten away with it, but Bolts recovered. Nico's behind him. He had no idea. Great shot from Bolts, nonetheless, to find rain in that angle. Potentially could have amounted to no kills, if not for his great accuracy, but the positioning better from Nico. Fallen has one up him in turn as he tried to swing back through the tunnels and catch off positionally anyone rotating back through CT spawn, or rather T spawn, excuse me. Speaking of the CT spawn, that's where Croman just arrived from, from middle through window. He'll accompany Guardian to hold off the B site. No guarantee they go there, though. Even that kill on Nico says otherwise because they can open up the rest of the map as they please. And Croman actually rotating in there so early means that he gives up information at middle. So pressure on Kerrigan. It's going to be a three on one, essentially, inside of the bomb site. The retake will have to happen. As Kerrigan comes up with something absolutely brilliant. Flashed off, won't spot the drop. Fallen should overwhelm the angle. He's taking some damage on the fall. Fur going to go down shortly, but it's Kerrigan's ammo depleted in doing so. And somehow he buys some time for himself. Time enough that the bomb needs to be recovered. And Guardian's in position, but Fallen hits that shot quickly as ever. Time is gone. Indeed. My mistake. I thought they had more to work with. I was so caught up watching Kerrigan's position. I thought they were going to get away with it. So that single kill was enough. So he's got nothing, really. Oh, I guess he got no money for surviving past the timer. Yes, That's exactly. What there we go. Yeah, no, they, they were they were two or live after the time. Indeed. Well, Cole, that, that, that sucks as well because that affects all the way to the first gun round. Especially with no bomb plant on this round. Kind of hurt them quite significantly, but still a four on four. Good shot, as you say, Guardian using that scout to good effect early on. Do we tag to 17 as well, which means chance to go beyond that. With that scout now in his hands. Nico on the site will use one of his own. Flashed off, perfect timing on the flash. Allows him to drop down, puts them in sight of rain. But the smoke lands and rain can't capitalize. He's got to push through. He's trying to spray, rather. Even though there's a gap at the top of the smoke, he wants damage dealt to aid his teammates. Cold Zero drops the bomb, and that could be the problem. This time they got some time to recover it, but it could be the problem in the round because of by time and space, which means the guns, no armor, and a matter of time before everyone's gone. Two Fallen waiting patiently this time will get disposed of quite quickly by Rain Guardian. Equal task to Stewie as he pushed in with the UMP. He's not going to slow down there. Nose cold's gone to the corner. Bomb down. Round gone. Perfect start for phase. Prediction came in, I saw from Helvor on Twitter that what across perhaps AWP is going to do exactly that as Fallen doesn't want to reveal any position and go back toward the tunnels to control the angle. There's still a man down in this, so things will arrive. Don't have any kits to work with, however, so they're gonna go quickly. Pre-fire through the door to find out where Bolt is, and he'll fire back. That confirms one position. So he's under the window. That one might be somewhat anticipated, but still a lot of work. Utility to help the take. Further flash for the entrance of two players. Kerrigan has fallen. That's the AWP. There's a real chance they can pull this off as Rain finds Bolts. It's all on to Stewie under the window. They knew he was there. Oh, this is small. This could be everything for him. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Especially with Guardian taking the aggro, that's all too easy. Cold can't even find him. He knows that he's on the box somewhere. He's like, eh, I'm not even going to spray back at him just in case. But watch toward B. Croman manages one blinded off the angle. He has to give it up. Nico falls to Cold eventually. He was low on HP, but it's Kerrigan and now at long. Everywhere MIBR thinks there's space. It's taken away somewhere else on the map. So push B, for example. Suddenly out Nico. Already sitting with 46 is going to start to reconsider position toward middle with Guardian. It's Kerrigan alone on the site. He wants an off angle. He wants to catch them in this smoke. He might do so. Goes by the barrel. I thought he would play that for cover. But he actually wants to get right in their face. Spot the feet. Drop the bomb. Back away. Blinding everyone in the process because Fur had to reposition while throwing a flash. And everyone was taken out of the picture for a moment. And then Kerrigan comes back into it swiftly with two kills. Fur and Cold go down. It's just bolts. It's really well played by Kerrigan. Holding the A sights. Knows he's going to be focus towards uh he tries to play right max them and by that smoke that was actually really smart so there we go bolts now in a three versus one time again running low that felt like an mibr round guaranteed not the good spawns come through but for now five versus four no armor only one flashbang to work with on the mibr side Bane gets there in the end took a while took pretty much all of the ammo that he had in that mag He falls on the other side of the doorway. Cold and Fur now have to go back to recover the palm. 
At the very least, six to three, looking to become seven. Double op setup is looking solid. Guardian doesn't quite hit the shot on Fur. Nico being the second opper this time around. Cold sitting with four kills, six deaths. Again, led the way for MIBR yesterday once he started getting consistently on the frag chart. It became a problem, and they overwhelmed their opposition. Patience for Nico. I think he spotted the foot from Fur on the run boost, but knew naturally there would be a second player, so why not? Hold for that instead, and he'll take down Cold. Three kills overall, so... Well, they're having a cracking tournament, aren't they? Yeah, impressive. Certainly made short work of NIP. Rain pushing back through CT is prime position until such time as the smoke is deployed, and therefore he won't be able to see through, but Guardian certainly kills, still can see, and stealing the aggro? That's Rain's invitation for arrival. Not that Rain ever needs an invitation. I like a clear forecast. So does Cold Zero, apparently, because he'll take down Guardian and Rain in the process. Now works toward the site, but Chroman's waiting for his arrival. And it's this is not a force by the partial. And Stewie gets absolutely destroyed by Guardian. We've all been that. CT does find the opening pick. And it will be the five and four now, and the scout in the hands of Fallen. So at the doorway, Rain will work back out from CT. Actually wants to take advantage of the fact that that Molotov could potentially presume to be clearing behind the door, and then he sneaks in, hoping that they might overlook him. Bit of a different complexion to the back side of that door now with the small cubby that he's in. Opposed to getting right up behind the wood itself, Guardian starts off by taking fur. Stewie had gone previously, that's two for Guardian, and it's again, it's early picks for FaZe that have been unanswered from MIBR. Can't quite collect. Rain's fully blind, but he can run down the ramp to get away because Flames won't allow him to drop over. Good shot from Cold. Kerrigan is able to recover with no contest toward long. He can already swing to support bolts. Trying to do what he can with a CZ. Looks rather desperate. Mm -hmm. He's out of ammo. Let's go. Oh. A, a knife did win. Oh, okay. A knife did win, if you remember from Chroman, the last event for FaZe's perspective. I don't remember the knife. And Pillow Horizon, remember he ran out of ammo and he was slashing at the box and then they couldn't get the defuse because they got confused for that split yeah, second. Yeah, that's right. My yeah, mind yeah, yeah. overloaded completely. That's right. <laughs> oh, that was a dust too as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. That's right. Still going to be playing right by the door. Will this work out for him? Well, it certainly has. Carrigan with two, blinded up, but sprays into the only access point they have. Not hard to locate if your accuracy was already on point in place. And Fallen manages to get the response, but it comes at the price of both Fur and Bolts. Meanwhile, back toward middle, Rain's on catwalks too. He snuck out, but had no idea Rain was behind him. Guardian even double checks, says, hey, that's you there. <laughs> I see what you're up to. Well, that's great stuff by Rain. So he had no idea. And those two kills from Carrigan, you got to be so annoyed if you might be able. We even flashed him, and all he did was blindly spray, and he still gets both kills. And Nico could be in a bit of trouble here, but he's absolutely fine. Got to hit the shots. We'll be taken down eventually. And now three versus one for Cold Zera. Certainly capable of winning these sort of rounds, but not bad at all. You kind of one phase to get to the grand final. <laughs> if you're at this tournament, it's like, oh, I'd love an extra 100k if you want to be... Front runners, but there's Nico. That's more promising now. A couple of kills for yeah. FaZe here. Solid on the scout. Very good. Positioning is great as well on top of the wall at Cat. He was able to see over top of the smoke. Stewie finds one of the EWP, goes back out, can't hit the second shot. He's been digged. He's got to be careful. He's being overrun. He's down. Couldn't find a single shot of the last three he fired. I think a bit of panic started to ensue once he was dinked. Guardian happily retrieves the AWP, and we know how menacing he is with it. So Money not amazing for them. Going to be boosting above the smoke, and Ooh. my goodness, you could see how quick Guardian had to react to that. Bit of artistry. Stewie takes out Chroman. Couldn't find a second on the cross. That AWP gone. Look at the array of kills that come in in favor of Face Clan. That was a young talent coming out of Finland. I do like that Xevin has a uh, Golden Knights hat on in his photo. Back to the game, shall we, Henry? Guardian's got Stewie down. He's going to continue on in good form as he runs by the door. Find Cold Zero as well. Just pistols to work with for MIBR. It looks like map point foregone conclusion. I think you might be right. It's five on two, first low. They had to eco for the next round. Allow it to get to map points. Bolts with a nice eagle shot. It's not bad. Takes down Rain. But now they need six in a row. I3s today. All the Counter-Strike, all the actions, the B-Stream as well, as Matt just said. 
But you want to stay here. This is where the real fun is. Good win from Nico. Finding holes at the long corner on Kerrigan. Takes down the other wing of the map. They've been clipped. Croman's gotten cold. It's all falling apart so quickly. So quickly. Fallen with the only kill so far from MIBR. And it's this late into the round that he finds rain. It's pretty much too little too late. It's a one versus five. And Guardian was waiting for his arrival. 16 to 9 phase.